Hi everyone, David Mail here. Today we're going to do something really cool and exciting. We're going to quickly show you how to use the sum function to calculate the percent total in Power BI. So let's get started with that. So if you look right here uh, on this, I'm going to go first and show you the old method. So the old method, uh, I've got this column right here with this exclamation mark here, and the reason being is it no longer works for this data. So it used to be you would use calculate and then your sheet or your column and then all and then the name of the uh, aggregate you want to look at so in this case it would be city so this data by the way is uh, sales by city and by states I think, believe it's furniture parts sales uh, in America or in the USA as you can see it's all USA so this is the way it used to be and this no longer works the all function was great when it worked several years ago in Power BI it no longer does with the newer updated versions so what you have to do now is much better anyway is instead of that you use this one and what you would do is just the sum of sheet one sales by the way it's sheet one is where my data is I could have called it anything else, but that's fine. So where you just put the sum of sheet one sales and what that does, see there's no errors on it. This would have red on it and it would have a little exclamation mark and tell you there's errors like the column one does, it does not. So you would just hit this and hit this and let's click over here. And you can see right here, I have it calculated automatically it calculates the column total right here and brings it up here so that I have that for each row and then all I have to do very simply to get this let's bring this out this way a little bit let's do this see if we can make that a little bit bigger there and we'll make these guys a little bit smaller let's do that oops let's bring him over there and bring this guy over here a little bit or not there we go and let's bring this guy over here there we go so what i want you to see here is the percent total so right here i have another calculation so if i look at that i've got this percent total here and all i have to do now it's very simple because i have that in each row with that sum function all i have to do is sheet one sales right which is this sheet sales column divided by sheet one of what sum sales which the sum sales is what we just brought in with that calculation that brings in that total down each row and by doing that then i have this number and it's already uh in percentage i already did that but if you didn't all you had to do is go back to any one of these and you can change it here you can change it here uh, this might be the easiest one to change it you can change it right here and say i want that in a percentage and you can go back here um, you could also do it here on this and figure out you know like if it's uh, whichever one you're doing here that you want to change that to percentage um, in this case uh, here we go there we go there's percent total so it's percentage right there so you just have decimal number in the percentage and then you want to make sure you have the correct number of decimal places there that's basically it in a nutshell and uh, so now I have sales I have the sum of the sales I have percent total for each I can graph by the percent total I can do it by city and, and this just backs us up. I have another uh, bar chart here, basically a stack column chart that has the state and city as the legend and sales. So that way it shows me by doing city in here, I can get the cities this way. I don't really care for that. What I care is I would wanna see for each state how many cities I have in there that I have sales for and how big they are. That's what's neat about this graph here. So I might have, uh, for instance here, this one might have more than this one, but it'll tell me, you know, the breakdown of it. Do I have a bunch of little ones like this, which is a smaller sales amount, or do I have bigger ones like this? So it tells me the breakdown of each. And this just further does it with a uh, pie chart of showing, you know, California, Texas, uh, and the different state breakdowns. But basically what I wanted to show you was this, and this is just in a table right here, and I can bring it up here, click right here, and just show you I have city, state, country, sales, sum sales, and percent total. So I've added these two now. The sum sales is this, which is basically just, it's a very simple DAX uh, function here, or formula and it's just sum of sheet one sales that's all it is and that'll automatically aggregate it out based on if i pick city city state whatever i want to do there which is nice that's why power bi did that this is easier to use than this old one which is much harder you would have to change this based on do i want it broken out by city do i want it broken out by state how do i want that to be okay so 
Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this helpful. This is used a lot in uh, data analytics and uh, data science and uh, analysis. Um, thanks again for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day.